Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> this is the Four Play Podcast. My name is Brandon Rosa. With me today is Michael. Hey. Nick. It's good to be here, guys. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's been revived from the dead. He abandoned us in our time of need. <laughs> For those who don't know, the Four Play Podcast is a weekly and daily YouTube show. On Monday, the Four Play for the topics of the episode will go live. On Tuesday, the talk time topic. Wednesday, a would you rather question. And Thursday is do you kn- do you know? Should you know? <laughs> Quick save. <laughs> on Friday, the full episode will go live on YouTube at youtube.com slash four play video. And the audio file will go live on iTunes, Google Play Music, and such. Please subscribe to all these channels. I know me, I listen to all my shows usually on the go, so I just subscribe on iTunes and stuff, and they all put right on my phone. Nick, how are you? I'm doing well. Uh, I'm great to be here. Uh, Very happy to be here with you guys most of the time. Um, I can't really complain. You know, it's been a great year, minus some Oh, shit. Oh, Oh, buddy. Where the fuck did that come from? Whoa. That's pretty nice. That was hidden. Stellar. That actually looks... Incredible. That's the uh, first piece of merch. It's Christmas time <laughs> <laughs> on the Four Play Podcast. That was New Year's. Thanks. So I don't know who's is wrapped in no, who. Um, oh, oh, that one. one might be Nick. Oh, yeah, it says Nick. <laughs> it says Nick on Kevin it. Kevin got nice it. wrapping it's straight, paper. It's straight oh, up magazine. Right. <laughs> it's newspaper. Just Nick got the newspaper. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, foreplay. Cheers, guys. Entering Thanks, 2017. Brandon. Kevin drinking his cream. <laughs> My coffee. His cream. So for anyone who listened to the audio version, myself, Brandon, revealed a beautiful foreplay shirt. <laughs> I love the logo. And, and that's got just, presents. And they got presents. All the audio listeners will love that oh, sound. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, I my gosh. Right <laughs> <laughs> well, I did ask yes. you guys oh. in the chat. Oh, oh yeah, the back play. that you couldn't yeah, see. That. So now we're walking advertisements. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Brandon. No As problem. This is nice. <laughs> I love the logo. And I don't just say that. Mike outdid himself on the logo. It smells like yeah. gooseberries. If people have general interest in acquiring these shirts, we can set that up. But you guys would have to let us know. I don't know if that's a thing anyone would want, but I like it. I love it. I like it. I like it, is, it. Are we gonna? Are we going to... Universally wear these right now? No, absolutely not. Mine I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear cape. it. Oh, God. <laughs> Mike has a cape. Across my Kevin chest has like it this. like a championship belt. You're damn right. Nick's half wearing it. <laughs> We're good. All right. So after post Christmas special gift time, Kevin, you're finally bringing topics to our table. Nice. After it's a month, yeah, <laughs> or so, or two. Well, what'd you guys get for Christmas? Ooh. I got the uh, Xbox One Elite controller with all the cool gaming paddles. Nice. So it's exciting. So you're going to go MLG Pro. I'm MLG Pro. I'm applying for uh, Optic and Phase Good. this weekend. So. Very well. <laughs> cool. Let me know how that, how that pans <laughs> out. I'm sure that's going to be great. Michael, what did you get? A beating. Saying <laughs> <laughs> I beat you? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, no, I got a nice Carhartt jacket. I was going to ask because I hadn't snazzy. seen that before. Yes. Yeah. And then just money and stuff. Oh, it was yeah. good. It was good. Oh, yeah. I got some stuff from my desk. My dad got me. <laughs> well, he didn't get it to me yet because I got hit a week ago. So I got rear-ended and damaged my car, but he's going to fully detail my car, which I need Jeez, desperately because that's fucking expensive and I was never going to do it myself and I've never like waxed my car or anything, which is not good <laughs> in the time that I've had it. Um, then a bunch of other stuff I needed. I re- you realize you mature when you want clothes, so I asked for <laughs> clothes. I needed, like, yeah, polos sure, and sure. shit. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm not going to buy these myself. You guys get them for me. Well, yeah, you get less arbitrary stuff that you'll end up growing out of and more just stuff you need. Yeah. Like, underwear and socks, which is, like, I almost look forward to that. <laughs> yeah. I literally put, like, bath stuff, like shampoo and soap, because I didn't want to buy it myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm legit planning on having that jacket till I'm probably like 30 there you go <laughs> car, car. it is nice yeah, I, got, I got a very very snazzy leather jacket oh yeah where that hasn't oh, made shit. an appearance yet I it's saw over there like, but like oh, my lightning? mom saw me well, it was one day i was getting ready to go out somewhere and she saw me go into like the closet where my dad keeps all his stuff and i took out his leather jacket i was throwing it on <laughs> i was looking at it it was, like, it was still like a little too big 
So you're gonna like so smoke cigarettes now and <laughs> ride motorcycles. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna wear strictly wear white V necks <laughs> underneath my leather jacket, tight blue jeans <laughs> with Converse, and I'm gonna slick my hair and smoke cigarettes. Carry a switchblade comb. She tasted like cigarettes. <laughs> It's Forrest Gump, dude. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't know. You wouldn't. Kevin, what will we be discussing right, this yeah, week? The foreplay for the week, yeah, as, as it's called. Sexy. Well, we're going to look at, since we're sort of in limbo here between... Don't do that. Between Christmas and New Year's, we're going we're gonna to check in on everyone's New Year's resolutions and see what they're, what they're planning on uh, changing about themselves <laughs> over this next year. Uh, for the... Would you rather we're going to take a look at if you would like to go back to your five-year-old self or if you would like to pl- uh, pull some information from your oh dear. future self's mind. Okay. Uh, and the, what was it? Do the you, do know? you know? Should you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's been gone for a while. <laughs> So what are we looking to change about ourselves for this upcoming year? My fellas? fat fucking gut. <laughs> <laughs> Kegs are better than six packs. That is true. <laughs> I've always liked that phrase. Our friend Christian, he's got to get on the show. I don't even know if Christian watches. My longtime neighbor. He, he he's works at Pirate right, right now. Uh, oh, Does he? I just really? saw him as a seasonal job. Yeah. Awesome. I had no idea. He used. To, I think he. I heard that for the first time. It's like I don't have a six pack, but I have the whole keg. And I thought it was the funniest thing I ever heard in my life. <laughs> No, that's the stereotype. Everyone's going to the gym. Yep. yep. And all this. For two weeks. And using yep. all their new Christmas gear that yeah. they'll never use again. Everyone's got a Fitbit. Yeah. But That'll be a waste. I have been like half doing insanity for the past like three weeks. Probably max three times a week. That still is hilarious to me. Because <laughs> it's you, impressive. You, you, I'm, it's I'm impressed. Like, I, insanity is for like fully in shape dude, people to like. I'm just, I'm just it picturing kills me. how... <laughs> <laughs> how like Tommy and all of them used to dress for the Zumba and I'm just picturing you dressing as that <laughs> doing fucking insanity so the thing is I don't go into the gym is a whole thing I'm not doing that I gotta get there there's people there I gotta They're come taking home up your equipment. anti-social bastard yeah no I'm not I'm not going to the gym <laughs> but the insanity I could do it from my house and it kills me but I feel like I'm fucking working out mm-hmm. But it's just too hard to keep up with. And then the one podcast I listened to, kind of funny, they did. They had a guy on there who tried insanity for like a month. It worked, whatever. And then he did the other one that that guy does, which is the T25. So it's 25 minutes a day, pure cardio. He said he did it for in three months. He lost 40 pounds. And then oh, in shit. a year, he That's lost awesome. 100. That's awesome. I mean, he changed his diet, which As well. is like the yeah. biggest yeah. component. Yeah. Yeah, it's the biggest thing. Uh, but like I'm right at the point where the 38 waist, where I feel like I'm almost a 39. I was like, no, 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 this I can't buy new clothes again. I gotta just I gotta do some harsh changes. Mm-hmm. They say the biggest thing is like fucking bread and shit, I'm cutting that out. Well, even uh, I think a bagel is like 10 pieces of bread. Jesus. Yeah, because it's all yeah. squished, condensed. Yeah. The yeah. good thing about my new job is I don't eat like breakfast anymore. So I'll, I'll eat like whatever I pack for lunch and then just dinner. But it's so fucking expensive. Yeah, but you not, just, not, not if you just eat good fruit good. in the morning, it's yeah, have a banana and apple. Yeah, but the thing like the day. I've mentioned my bladder issues that I have the bladder of a ninety year old man. <laughs> if I like eat in the morning, I have to like shit my brains out. <laughs> <laughs> like it's bad, and I hate it. You're a conflicted man. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's why. I mean I don't do it. I wake up like thirty minutes before I have to leave for work. But like most people would like wake up earlier, eat drink their coffee, and then you take your morning poop, and then you're on your way. Well, the very first thing I do every morning is poop. That is the first thing I do. There you go. At least you're regular. Yeah, but then I have to typically go again within an hour of Uh, that first (laughs) bowel movement. (laughs) (laughs) You should just eat X-Lax the second you wake up and just get it all out. (laughs) So, yeah, ideally, lose. I don't... Our one friend, Kevin, said it. Our Kevin hey. said it that he works out so he can eat, and I love that lifestyle. <laughs> I'm not trying to be some rip motherfucker because, I mean, you can go through like old pictures of me when I was in like seventh grade, and I had the I have hypothyroidism, so I don't have a thyroid because I got killed, but I was like hyper 
I guess an undiagnosed. I was like 170, and how skinny my face looks. I look like sickly, and I don't like it. Yeah. Like I, I don't Rather want to ever go bones. that skinny, ever. But just a little bit, losing this gut a little bit. There you go. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I have to agree with you. I'm pretty fat, so I'm just. Gonna, I don't believe that for a second. It. I'm gonna work on that a little bit. <laughs> I just want to look. I just want to change my, my diet. Why? Because I eat like absolute hell. <laughs> what do you? Isn't your Whoa. what's your new favorite right now? Isn't it Panda Express? Well, yeah, the Panda's <laughs> great. <laughs> the Panda's great, but like I, I've sort of cut out fast food at this point. Although, got some stocking stuffers for Christmas this year. <laughs> what, what were Burger cards? King, Wendy's, uh, Chick Fil A gift cards. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, right. Ten dollars. I mean, you could just go to the store and sell them because they have those places now. Do you actually? Do you? Do you lose a lot? Yeah. What? Do they straight up? Uh. Cause there's I think a pawn it's like shop 10% right here. or something that you lose off of it. I mean, that's not bad though. Depends on what it is. Like if it's Taco Bell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the whole thing, yeah. so I'm not even worried. Or about if you that. just find a buddy, I sold my five dollar gift card to Starbucks. Yeah. To Brant. But I was gonna bring <laughs> up works. one thing. Uh, there's a challenge where, like, for a whole month, you try to eat. You can't eat anything that comes out of a box or a package. It's all like from the earth. Yeah. That's impossible for me. I tried it and I didn't make it a week. Really? <laughs> it's so hard. My parents started a, uh, a thing called Isogenics, where it's like they have a whole plan for you and stuff like that. You, you have like certain cleanse days where you don't eat. Like all you do is drink their shakes or do whatever. They're like protein shakes or something like that. <laughs> but like you cut out. I think it, no dairy and no bread or something, something like, like that. that. Dude, I but like my, it was. It seemed like a pretty simple thing to do, and like my, and my mom already lost like twenty pounds or whatever doing That's it. That's awesome. So like I wanted to, I was looking into different types of diets and stuff. Maybe some something because I'm on like a budget, okay. like of stuff. So something that I could actually follow on my own and like be able to so i mean no bread that's easy you just get pork or egg and cheese and an omelet <laughs> <laughs> it's the hardest thing though especially with living with people who don't because everything's well, yeah. there yeah like that you don't you can't eat but want to yeah. especially if you're not buying it all yourself yeah mike what are your resolutions nothing Been thinking about going the uh the whole year without the the facial hair. Oh, what do you man. mean? <laughs> yeah, taking it off. Taking it off for the yeah. year? Yeah. It's been a staple. <laughs> for how many how many years have you had this now? Did you when was the last I time mean, you cut your mustache at least? Well, that's been a while, but it like I feel like it started in junior year. Of so high school? Was, yeah, of high school. So like six years ago. That thing's got some girth. <laughs> <laughs> There's some but, death. I mean, there's been times that I shaved it, but no, it's I don't been even, here for a while. I don't remember what you look like without, like, with a clean face. Neither do I. That's <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have tan lines under. It. Oh man, <laughs> it's probably it's probably gonna be just straight like, <laughs> pale white. <laughs> so, uh, you might have to go to a tanning salon and some tan lotion, everything <laughs> but like your fucking white spots <laughs> on your beard. <laughs> So, yeah. That's your resolution? A year without the facial hair? <laughs> a year without the facial hair. It seems too easy. <laughs> seems like you're cheating. I, I don't know. I'm probably going to lose friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did make a Facebook post, and there was quite a bit of controversy. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> do we, uh, just start a poll. Yeah, do a Facebook, Facebook poll. I already know what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, you know the answer. Yeah, because they're... They, Keep it. Your mustache is like a. It a has cold more classic. of a reputation than me <laughs> in the town. <laughs> you made your gamer tag I mustache, so then you have to change that. Yeah, you'd be living. Uh, you'd sure. be living a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. Nick, uh, I think my resolution is be more patient with like stupid people like Rosa. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Ser- seriously, I want to definitely. Uh, be more dedicated to bettering myself. Like I want to go to the gym more. Uh, like I, I'm definitely happy with my body. I'm, I, I can't complain in that respect, but I still want to go to the gym more. I like being strong. I like being buff. It's fun for me. And also my mind as well. Like, you know, you guys know I've been coding all the time and I still want to keep that going and I always just improve in some aspect every day, whether it's like playing 20 minutes of guitar or going to the gym or 
30 minutes of coding so or something. So basically more ambition in your interests. Uh, not necessarily ambition because, like, for instance, even when we play video games, I still try and make it as efficient as possible, if that makes sense. Like, I won't just waste time. Like, I want to do clan matches, something like that, which is at least some sort of productivity in the video yeah. game. Um, but just some other form of self-improvement, like, regardless of what area it's in. I just like that you said that because literally no one ever says that. And that's the what fucking problem with our country. No one says on working on bettering themselves specifically mentally. It's all about our physical yeah. appearance to everybody. And I don't know if we said it on this show, but the Joe Rogan tweet that was years ago. He's I don't know if, yeah, if one of you told me it, but it was like he tweeted out a few years ago, we have a massive gun problem in this country that's disguised. We have a massive mental health problem that's disguised as a gun problem. And no one says, let's better myself. And that's what you said, which we all should. Thanks. Take and you shouldn't need, also, side note, shouldn't need the new year to make these changes. Yeah, right. But nonetheless, since we're talking about it. It is a fucking joke. <laughs> it's so easy, too, to make the excuse. Like, even with the Saturday, my dad was like, oh, you're not doing it this week? Um, and I was like, no, nah, I need to start fresh on a Monday. Yeah, exactly. Why? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why? It's all, like, why can't you start on yeah, like a Wednesday? It's all oh, crap, January 2nd? All right, we'll start next month. <laughs> yeah. If, oh, I missed it a day. Well, the New Year's is like, everybody looks at it like a restart. A button. clean slate, yeah. yeah. Well, I can't. I'm really interested to see that at the end of 2017, if people are going to be out crying like they are right now, it's 2016 well, being the worst year that has ever happened in yeah. the history of because existence. Because most people need a push to do something, mm. so then well, I'm just they just make that as the push. All the shit that's happened this year, all the oh, deaths, yeah, no. this the year, election, everyone has been claiming that this is yeah, definitively the worst was year. Kind of weird. Uh, this no, this was a bad year. Was pretty bad. We we've lost yeah. some great people. A phenomenal gorilla. I miss I miss him so much every day. I love you, Harambe. Harambe. <laughs> I, I'm tearing All up. All right, actually. so if if we could take <laughs> if we could take one person back that passed away this year, celebrity wise, I'm telling you right now, if there was a ballot, Harambe would actually. Harambe would win. Right. I miss him. That's you see, like I, I have legit That's tears in my eyes for Harambe. <laughs> yeah, people voted for him. Yeah, he, he got a massive ten thousand votes. <laughs> You got 10,000 votes, got and 10, that's the problem votes. in our country. <laughs> this stuff. The phone's at the table. I'm God seeing who died <laughs> in 2016. It would have to be Carrie and Fisher in my That's in my what mind. I just wanted that's to. That's just Fisher. off the top of my head because I want to see. David Bowie? She, she, well, yeah, David Bowie's obviously a <laughs> freaking legend. Him, any any life for that matter. Alan Rickman. Yeah. Celebrity or not. Would pull a big Prince thing. Prince was a god, too. So yeah. Alan Rickman was Severus Snape. Yes. In her. And he that. was Hans Gruber. In the greatest <laughs> Christmas movie of all time, Die Hard. But I also, even though like I didn't like really like know a lot of the stuff he did because he was young, it's got to be that kid that was in Star Trek because he's the youngest that died this year. Which, the, the kid from Star Trek. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, yeah. I forgot about that. that was early this year, right? Kind of. Yeah. yeah. He was probably well on his way to score another roles and stuff too. Yeah, I'm sure. But I mean. Carrie Fisher, man, Princess she was Leia. supposed to have a bigger. I think she she actually rapped. She they did her that. role in episode eight, and she's actually gonna have a bigger role. So I don't know if. Well, this is the thing. It's like, what do they do? Or whatever. They might have movie. to change it now, which yeah. is upsetting. Yeah, which is like, ever that's that that's the it's the worst part that that's everyone's biggest worry is. How <laughs> that's, is that's gonna be a weird way to content. handle that too. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody actually made a GoFundMe page to fly, like, fund him to fly out to Betty White and make sure she stays safe till the new year. <laughs> oh Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> that, w- that would ruin it for everyone this year. That would be the final thing. Yeah. I mean, we have one or two more days yeah. to get through. I don't know some of these people. Mine's Crazy. definitely Carrie Fucking Fisher. Keith Richards. He's dead? No. Uh. Goddamn <laughs> skeleton, though. <laughs> All those ma- all those guys are so lucky, man, that they're based on how they live. Shout out to Kimbo Slice. Kimbo. Oh yeah, he, he passed died on right. June sixth. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. yeah, you didn't know Kimbo yeah. Slice. I, forgot I about remember that. hearing that. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. From what? Steroids? You I think it was a knows. hard thing. Yeah. Purple yeah. drink. That drank. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's hope that 2017 is a better year. The four-player resolution. How many subscribers? 
You gotta have a goal. You gotta shoot. Let's get to let's get to one million dollars. One thousand. I want to crack. I want to crack the century mark first before anything. Yeah, we need to get there. People, I know we see people are watching the show, but the subscribers are definitely not equaling the people that watch, and that's the one number we would definitely need to really grow to be more publicized and then i think that's also in correlation like when you watch a video the recommended videos on the side you know if you like watch a random video and then there's like recommended I'm oh yeah sure that impacts it if we're higher bigger. subscribed yeah dolphinately i'm gonna say dolphins in the playoffs 500 the dolphins are going nowhere <laughs> oh you'll see they will go Giants nowhere. to the ship. Given the Cowboys Stop. their third loss. That's all I want. Honestly, I if we could just really make them want. go 0-3 this year and they that's the only games they lose, then I'm fine with that. <laughs> the yeah. Giants and I the don't... Dolphins are the same exact team. They're completely mediocre teams that are making the playoffs. <laughs> I'll take it. It's fine. We're in it. You just got to be in We're... it. Here is we go. Here we go. Would you rather... Would you rather go back to age five with everything you know now or know now everything your future self will learn? Okay, hold on. You lost me halfway through. Repeat, but go forward. Would you rather go back to five knowing to everything age I know five now? Knowing everything you know now or know everything that your future now self is good that know. your future self will learn? Oh, fuck. Yeah, go back. Go back to five with everything I know. Definitely. Like anything involving stocks, anything involving uh, like tests and stuff, like going through the educational yeah, system the, again with everything I know. Yeah, yeah, that, I gotta, it's, it's the same thing either way yeah. because... What do you mean? It's you, you could mean, you could know the future stocks and stuff if you want to play that game. Yeah, of course, but then I get more life as well. I get to start at age five and... and yeah, but then you have the to benefits. go back through school. Wait, That's is that, fine. Wait, is that the parameters? Yeah. yeah you have to go back. go back and go through everything. Yeah, I'll go back through you. school. That's see, fine. See, the only problem with that, because I'm going with... I'm going to go with the future. knowing everything from this yeah, point from yeah from the future self because if you were 5 and knew everything that you know now you'd probably end up in a mental hospital why is that because people would be fucking freaked out and <laughs> well I wouldn't just go around prophesizing things well, yeah but you're age know, but 5 you don't yeah. have a filter yet <laughs> you know everything that's like a well, fuck that's, up that's what child. I mean see I'm I'm like, thinking that I, I have full control like I have my mind yeah, currently. You're not gonna be like like a, crazy, a wild five year old, like crazed, like yeah. person, like oh, I know well, all you're, shit. You're the commander of this. Well, shit. Yeah, I mean, it's all Kevin. Then what would it be then? Yeah. Like, I mean, you, you're five year five years old. You know all this shit. Like, I don't like. It's How does got, that work? It's got to be so weird. Like, so you're a super smart five year old, or do you just? It's your mind in a child's body. That's what I'm. Th- that's what I'm getting out of that's this. That's fucked. That's what I'm getting out of this. Is that Kevin? You're the dictator. Yeah, I guess so. Oh my god! But you're ab- like you're able to just use all that to navigate your way through. Yeah. You kidding me? Go through go through school again. I literally, you literally wouldn't even have to like try in elementary school yeah. because there's nothing you have to learn. No, but like middle school. But then you're also thing. living a lie because you're like a fraud. You'd be able what to just mean? ace <laughs> fucking everything. Yeah. It's the same thing either way. Because if you're here you now, now yeah. and you know everything in the future, you know... You, you know would also technically things. be a pedophile once you start getting into middle school. Yeah. <laughs> what do you if you mean? want to have my mind that Because yeah. you have your older mind, yeah. you have mind but you're in a young person's body. And you're attracted. You have the mind of a Oh, uh, yeah, that would run into issues. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. But then again, like... <laughs> <laughs> but then again, hold, keep, keep in mind... I mean, it's not like I'm going to be pursuing these other middle school women, you know? Like, so you're never, so... Well, I know, like, for if instance, you, if like, I have... I don't know. If I go back with the knowledge I have, you know, I, like, you know, it, God willing, everything works out with my current girlfriend, I, you know, I'll just wait until I meet her. Whoa, 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 no. because you have a different mind. Your fate is going to completely change. Yeah, that, you're not... I uh-huh. understand what you're saying. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. ideal situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your upbringing brought you to meet your girlfriend, and because of how yes. you were at the time, gelled you two together. Yes. You're going to be changed now. And did... You probably will go different. to Harvard. Possibly. Exactly. But I would know that she's at Rutgers. And I would... Are you kidding do me, whatever dude? I would. Oh, this would make a crazy thriller. That's a movie right there. Dude, this idea? This thriller would be ridiculous if you actually like sought out your like current girlfriend, yeah. but you went back till you're... Five-year-old 
be insane. That no. would be nuts. Yeah, I would see. I wouldn't have met my girlfriend because I wouldn't have went to college. No, there's no point. I would have used all my knowledge. I would True have become that. a That's, prodigy, yeah. and I wouldn't have gone <laughs> to school. I would have just. Oh, I but still, just, if you, if I would have bet on every single. You would have made to sports to championship. I would have bet oh, at the yeah. beginning of the easy. year. Easy, easy. I would have bet at the beginning of the year that uh, like X team is going to win the that. Giants, like the Giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The improbable season that they had. Yeah. Yeah. Or that soccer team that that like was like a completely shit team, and they ended up winning the whole thing. Yeah. Right. Like exactly. zero to so, fucking whatever. So there's odds. that aspect, or there's the aspect that you're already you're this age, and you could essentially do the same thing, but you just don't have to relive all the the BS of all the elementary school, the middle I, school. All right, well, what, no are the, what are the pros and cons that. of the other one then? Being in the future, yeah, I'm doing that 100. percent I could not go back through school, and I feel like it would fundamentally change my life. To, <laughs> I like my life now. I don't need to go back, but if I could go forward and improve there with how everything is mm-hmm. now, I would prefer that. Because going forward, so it's the same thing. Yeah, so I mean, we're still young. I mean, if this question was brought up when I'm oh. like 60, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, let we're me go going back. back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, I also didn't like really state the terms as to future self what does that actually mean like what age yeah so uh, essentially at that point like you, <clears throat> what you if lived you, your full life your yeah what what you knew by the time you you were dead is yeah. that like yeah so that point i don't so think so wait well why don't we make it even then so it's if it's from age 5 we're all 23 so, so it's up to like 17 years yeah. f- or 18 years in the future see so, we're at an interesting point in the world where i think 18 years into the future is you're going to see like pretty crazy shit happened. yeah, yeah. Extremely. agreed so i think i think knowing i think you could Sorry, take man. significant advantage of of knowing what's going to happen over the next 18 years this I, guy's playing footsies with yeah. me by <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty hot that's where the sorry can't came see from that on the camera <laughs> no but i could not I, I simply couldn't go through school again i could not no nah, yeah i fucking despised going to school it's easy no, it's a waste. It, it is was, a waste. It was. It was it's easy. a waste, but it's like it is. I mean, you'd strange. also be able to yeah. skip grades. Yeah, be a super genius. <laughs> yeah, but it's it changes everything <laughs> because then you're that fucking guy, and that is gonna that change your guy. guy. That's gonna completely change your person. We're probably all not yeah, friends no, right nobody here. Nobody liked that guy. No. Nobody liked that no. guy. So everything's dip. No. If you can't accept me at my worst, then you don't deserve me at Fuck my best. Fuck off! <laughs> I don't accept you. Period. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys still on the team of going I'm back? I'm still on team go back, yeah. Because, like... I'm, I'm the future man. No, you I'm changed. still on team go back. You're future, future man. Just I because, just like play. you said, like, I mean, I'm not, like, uh, I'm not, like, living in a fucking cardboard box shooting up heroin yeah, or something. Like, my yeah. life isn't bad right now, so no, I No, mean, I still like, yeah, I definitely like my life now, but I get more years of my life as well. Yeah. I get to re-experience everything, get to this point... And then still have more life as well. But so it's a double I mean, whammy. There's I see two it, you're looking at it as like a practical not a sense. profit. A little like, bit of both. A little bit of well, both. I mean, yeah, both but the profit are, gauge. Both be, are profits. Yeah, but your profit gauge would be greater going forward because why? There's more money to be made now in the why future. Is that? Why because is that? there's just simply more money. That that money's a finite resource. What do you mean? There's more money. You'd be making it money easier with all the fucking technology and stuff going forward and how much money's getting thrown around. You could make a lot of money e- earlier, way, too. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're, you're, you're you were likely going to be re- rich with either scenario. Oh, well, if you'd be stupid to not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to have all the information. Like, how much How much do you need? If I if I make $50 million off being a child prodigy or whatever and doing whatever I have to do, that's more than enough for me. Yeah, that's too much pressure. I'm happy. You, would, Actually, you, you know what would be interesting as hell? Like, all of your knowledge, like, even of... Like the guitar right now, being a five year old and just just it. ripping the acoustic. You kidding be me? Fucked up. You kidding <laughs> me? <That'd> be fuck- <laughs> You'd be on like I don't even know what the big talk. I guess Oprah. I mean, <laughs> I I just saw a video the other day of a six year old girl doing chop suey by System of a Down <laughs> on the drums. Oh, yeah, oh I did God. see that actually. It was That's crazy. Nuts. I think you would cave. You think I would cave? Cave with the knowledge that because you're living a lie. I, I wouldn't be. I would just know that I'm a. a uh, you know, I'm me in a child's yeah, body, and I would know. You to would not have to tell somebody. Everyone Why? would have to tell some. Why? I don't know. It, it, it would actually be more interesting if you actually didn't even know. You were what just you that fucking smart. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, 
it's I don't know. I, mean, you I guess that because mean, like you wouldn't know that you actually went back in time. You like just know you, all this. you just you're five oh, year just, old oh, now and yeah. you're just really smart. That would be different. No, that would change. The I don't scenario. think your mental capacity could handle that. Then you no. would really have to tell somebody because it's like, how the fuck do I know everything that's going to happen in this world? And then it's fucked because then it's like, oh, so you know, nine eleven happened, so what's going to happen there? Yeah. And then all but, of these fucking again, huge like, world that tragedies. Lot, that is a lot of pressure. That's actually a lot of pressure. Yeah. You'd feel... Those events. You'd feel like you... First of all, no one would like believe you at all. No, no one believed me. But then you'd feel, you'd, you'd feel like you have the responsibility to try to prevent things like that well, from And then happening. if you told someone... And, and then, then what happens. if the government actually planned it and then you yeah. get killed? But See? here's the thing. You guys will have the same... There will likely be really other <laughs> atrocities in our lifetime and you guys will know them as well. And you'll have to tell someone. Yeah, but the thing is, we can't yeah, speak Trump's to that president. right now. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's that's ar- that's completely arbitrary. Then there's going to be the same exact issues. You won't know them until that point, but you'll see the next 9/11 happen in three years, and you'll be like, "I can stop this." But well, do Nick, do? do you know something? Yeah, did you- what do you mean? Do you know something right now? I'm just saying it could happen. <laughs> like any anything can happen. <laughs> I picked up on that. Like there there are always bad people. They're good people, tons of good people, but they're bad people and, and stuff happens. And you guys, if you unlock the next 18 years of knowledge, you will see that as well. And it'll be the exact same questions that are that would be given to me right now. Like, if I knew about 9-11, what would I do? I'll be 41 in 18 years. <laughs> Fuck me. We're old. And again, Wait, this you're is not 23. 22. 22. I'm 23. Oh, you're not 23 either. Fuck. 22. The old boys. And then the old boys. <laughs> but this is all under the pretense, though, again. <laughs> when Kevin Kevin said that this is all under the pretense of me just having the mind of myself now in a child's yeah. body. Not me having that information. Because that does change it. If like it does. I had no recollection that I went back and knew all this stuff, then yeah, of course, I would break down because I'd have no idea what's going on. But I'm assuming my mind, as it is right now, completely intact into a five-year-old. That's how I'm envisioning this. And we're all... You're all in the future. Going forward. Definitely. Rocket man. Rocket I'd tell man. You what, I'd be I'd be investing all my all my Christmas money as a five year old into <laughs> Apple. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or Why does our son love Apple so much? <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be eighteen. So what what year would that be though? So that'd be when nineteen we were five, ninety eight. I was, I was born in ninety four. Ninety three, ninety nine. Jesus. No, 90, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the... Y2K. Y2K. Yeah. Invest in the Pokemon company. Oh, easy. Well, no, that's, Pokemon that was already easy. Already but it was already up. in Japan, but I think uh, it came true. west in 99, I believe. No, I, I would, would be horribly wrong with that, so don't quote me. <laughs> but let us know where you would go. I like this one quite a bit, Mr. Kevin. That was good. Nick's fucked up because he picked the wrong one. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's no issue of right or wrong. No, I mean, you'd be... You'll become wildly successful. Yeah, and I'll have all, my whole life ahead of me, well, too. Well, you guys were also wrong last week, so lightning round, Kevin. Fight one duck-sized, one <laughs> horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses. Yeah, so Which wrong. is it? First of all, ducks are terrifying looking. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing one that was like... Have you ever seen a duck's pangus? No. It's a corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Yeah>. terrifying. <laughs> yeah, but then you have well, a yeah. hundred cork sticks <laughs> coming at you, so I don't know which is worse. Hurry, lightning round, go. Which one? No, I'd fight, fight. I'd fight off the hundred. You guys are Thank wrong. You. you guys Thank are you. all wrong. Steel toe boots. Thank you. All wrong. Easy. Let us know which one you would rather do in both categories in the comments below. Every Wednesday, new would you rather, youtube.com slash foreplay video. Be back with Do You Know, Should You Know, shortly. <laughs>
me and Nicole, who she's been on the show, <laughs> she just likes, and there's no, re, there's nothing wrong with it. Like when, when she arrives somewhere, she'll like sit in the car for like a minute or two, just and then get out. Sit there. What does she do? I gotta get what? the fuck out of the car. What does she do in the car? <laughs> no, that she's just like you know taking a minute, and she's more than allowed to. But I'm like, we gotta go. Like but I, still, I always like, need... I don't like. What is she doing though? You know, I don't know. She's just like, sit, like just sitting on her sits... phone, just like taking, oh, sitting on her yeah, phone. Just, like, okay, or, yeah, just whatever. Yeah, relaxing, for, yeah, relaxing yeah, yeah. for taking a breather. But I'm yeah, yeah. he's out of ignition. I'm out of the fucking car because I always. I always feel like I'm wasting time. And I don't know if it's necessarily fear, but I just hate wasting time. Yeah, of course. I need to be on time. to the next thing. I need to know what's happening next. Like, Kevin has notoriously not made fun of, but he's like, you can't just, like, do one thing. Like, I have, <laughs> I'm playing Xbox. Netflix is going. I'm on my computer. <laughs> Which yeah. makes no sense. He just, <laughs> he's not even watching whatever's on Netflix. It's just it's there just to on. play. It's like, I need it there. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know if I like just love like stimuli. That might be it. That's what yeah. I'm guessing is it. Yeah, you're like bro, you're addicted to having. I, I hate silence. I don't like <laughs> sitting in silence. I, there needs to be something playing. There needs to be something happening. I hate. Do you need to be hugged for this? Why are you afraid of silence? <laughs> need affection. I don't. You know what I realized love? though? Silence is golden. Those fucking rooms. The um. You know what I'm talking about? They that remove all of your. It's like the no noise. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. What the yeah, fuck the is that? Isolation chamber. I think I would. I don't know what it's that, called. That like breaks people. I think I would fucking like die. Like I don't know <laughs> if I could do that. It is yeah, like it's you can't. Supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to like you. You're not supposed. It's like you're in a dream dream state almost. You yeah. know what I mean? Because they put enough salt water in it where you float, and then you lose all sensory of everything. Yeah, and you can't hear. It. It's like yeah. it's fucked. I don't think I could do that. So like you literally just feel like what is that? Floating. It's called like, isolation chambers. I never it's supposed to like break people, but okay. I don't know. I think I hope I never experience that. I think it's a good quality. I mean, I obviously take it too far sometimes with like having to be on to the next, but I don't think it's a negative. I mean, would you rather be? I think like, there's. I th- there's think there's a balance. Ba- there's a there's a balance that people should find. You and should. I'm over the. I'm over the balance, but. <laughs> and I'm definitely. <laughs> why is that Kevin? well because and this could also go along with with i guess a, a resolution that i could come up with yeah. is trying to be like more on time for things because i'm just like i'll wake up in the morning and i'm just like like just taking my time eating then i'll shower and the next thing you know it's like oh maybe i should leave is for it whatever i have to do managing your time or being the king of indecisiveness <laughs> well, yeah, I am also <laughs> completely they, indecisive yeah. in every way. Well, I have to ma- be better at just picking something and going with it rather than... Yes, man. Yeah. Yeah, I should actually just turn myself into a yes man instead <laughs> of just quarreling with... The inner mechanisms yeah, of your mind. making a decision. You know what but I think is really cool? And, I mean, I've, I've, like, always noticed it, and it's, like, a fucking nerdy thing, but how you are in real life translates how you play video games... I mean, we're talking about, like, we do our stupid competitive Call of Duty matches. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm talking about in life, I have to be on to the next, and how do I play? I'm 100 miles an hour yeah. all the time. And you're a fucking backseat gamer. Yeah. Yes, you are. Big I am. time. Especially when it comes to Nick. I yeah. freak out. Because <laughs> I'm, like, I'm trying to listen to, because you can sometimes hear footsteps in the game. And he's like, I can't hear anything. And then he sneaks up on me. I border the line because I try to help. And then I realize I overstep. And then it's like a fucking thing. So I do apologize. But you literally killed me on vacant the last game. I could have totally heard him walking up to me. And I couldn't hear him. And he just got me down. I'm talking. Well, yeah, I was trying to tell you where he was because I knew he was there. I knew him too. I heard him. I heard him. And you were just like, ah. And then he snuck up and got me down. But I just think it's funny how that shit translates because I feel like your personality impacts how you I don't even know how I. I I don't know. Who are you? <laughs> who, who is Michael? <laughs> no, I was trying to think about how it translates to video games like for myself, but I, I'm horrible at managing time. I oh. think I'm good. Like I'll wake up in the morning and I'll be like, yes, this day is going to be so fucking productive. I'll do this and this and this <laughs> and this and have it all timed out and think about how much time each thing is going to take. And then I'll wake up and I'll you know what, that, over to the Xbox. That's actually what yeah. I'm horrible at is judging how long something Something's will actually take. take me. <laughs> See, I'm actually good at that. Like for work, I'll I'll estimate the time that I'll be home around like because I don't have a set time. Mm-hmm. I'll estimate the time that I'll be home like with a space of like a f- space frame or whatever of thirty minutes. And you're usually and pretty I'm accurate. Usually, yeah, hundred percent right. Yeah. 
the the thing with me is like I'm having a bit of trouble discerning exactly what we mean by time management. Because, for instance, you talk about Nicole taking a minute or two to get out of the car. But if she enjoys doing that, then is that a waste of time? Is that no. not being unproductive with her time? I would no. argue no. Yeah. If you're trying to do something, but you find yourself just constantly looking at your phone, then that's not as productive. Yeah. You know, if you're trying to do uh, uh, you know thing A, but you're distracting yourself with thing B, then I would argue that's not necessarily efficient. But if you're doing what you want with your time... I think it really means like when you have to do something. Like The biggest thing at school is people who are succeed yeah. Yeah. are good at time management. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, I think. I mean, yeah, I like was a whenever... procrastinator, but it was clear if, when I didn't procrastinate and spaced out my shit, there was yeah. a reflection in that in my grades yeah. for the most part. Some people are really good at that, but... It's all about sticking to whatever plan. If you want to procrastinate, you can do that too, but the, the worst thing is when you have your work open and you're not even doing what you want <laughs> and you're just wasting time. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather, like sometimes in school, if I wasn't getting anything done for 20, 30 minutes, I was like, screw it. I'm just going to do what I want to do. I'm going to go to the yeah. gym. I'm going to go play video games because I'm clearly not getting this work done at the that's moment. How, no, that's how I would do it. If I yeah. realized I was wasting off track, time, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to go do something else and that I'll I want to do because it's least. not going to work yeah. right now. You know? I'm not in the zone. And that was also part of like the hardcore senioritis when I transferred from <laughs> community college to school, because it was funny too how it worked. Like, I did my two years, and I had a four point oh with seventy five credits, and I contribute that entirely to the fact that I was working thirty hours a week. There was no time for bullshit. Yeah, there was no time for me going. to not, you know, to slack off. And then yeah. I went to school, and I had. 10 times more free time. I wasn't working like the first semester or two and I didn't want to do anything because I was like, oh my, all this time yeah, I yeah. have. And I would still like play video games and shit at community college, but I knew this is what needed to be done today and if I didn't do it, I was fucked. Yeah. So I think pressure helps time management. That's why procrastination works. Unless you works. let it ruin you though. And then it's just all. I used to like over. to think that I'd thrive under pressure of yeah. being like <laughs> procrastinating and being able to get things done, but then you reach a, like a break point well, I think because I felt the same way, but I think it's harder now that we're older because there's it's more responsible shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just think they go hand in hand, like the pressure and time. And I think one call, I think I thrive under pressure. I think I've noticed in life when like shit's going really bad or like something like catastrophic happens really quick. I'm easily I'm more easily than people I see to just like, all right, well. If everyone's freaking out around me, me freaking out doesn't help. So let me exactly. lock it the fuck down and then freak out later yeah. and get what needs to be fixed or done now. Exactly. And I guess that goes with time management, but. Any situation, yeah. even not time management, just any situation, you got to always settle down, not panic. Yeah. I see everyone else panicking. Like, everyone oh, panics. That's not going to help right now. We yeah. got to figure this shit out, you know, kind of goes with, I don't know if it goes with like being a realist or an idealist. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a realist. What are you, Nick? I uh, definitely a little of both. Like I can't concretely answer that uh, entirely. Yeah. Mike, are you a realist or an idealist? No idea. Who are you, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he, there's an internal struggle, struggle, <laughs> struggle, struggle, <laughs> struggle within within Mike trying to figure out who that, I am. That's gonna be you? the name of this episode. Who who is Who's Mike? Mike? <laughs> there will there will there will, there will be an even bigger question if you do shave that category oh my yeah God. Who, is who is Mike? well i was actually gonna <laughs> yeah. ask that earlier should like should i film myself shaving it <laughs> if i a, do that can we make a video of <laughs> if you do why not yeah we'll do it before it's a big and event. after yeah man shaves 20 year old mustache <laughs> but by the way every time i've shaved it i had to have a hitler stash first Oh so God, that's yeah, just happen. because it just kind of works that way. <laughs> no, because I want to. Oh, uh, just to save the deer. <laughs> like you the one the time pure. I did that, and I was about to leave my house, and like my dad's in the garage fucking around with his fishing shit. I walk into the garage, and then I'll go, like, "See you later, Dad." <laughs> and he's just oh like, gosh. "All right, see you." He turns around, looks at me, he's like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> Too soon. Will Mike have a? unshaven face by the time this video goes live we will see maybe we'll be the jpeg the world may never know well no. should you know how to properly manage your time absolutely yes yeah i think that's pretty straightforward definitively yeah. <laughs> even I mean, as i, I was saying i was like yeah <laughs> i think everyone strives to be that so yeah. you should you know 
I've de- I mean, what person says they would want to be bad at managing their time? It's pretty yeah, much filibusters. What in the fuck's a filibuster? It's when a po- I think you just wanted figure... to say that word. I think that's like... <laughs> no, it's... Who are you, man? It's when a f- uh, political when figure they waste time. Yeah, uh, so yeah. like they just have to be at the mic voting. saying something. Yeah, and then as long as they're still saying something, they could just keep wasting time. Yeah, so a vote doesn't go through. Yeah, something like that. <sighs> You learn something new every day, one famous man once said in a day. This has been the Four Play Podcast. (laughs) Thank you guys for watching and or listening and or hearing and or seeing this episode. And or feeling. I'm sorry for everyone. This is the last one of, oh no, this will go live in 2017. So the first of a new journey of Four Play. It's incredible. Thank you guys for your support thus far this year. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and your podcast provider of choice. You can come every day of the week. A new video will go live at youtube.com slash play video. Hit the subscribe button. We are finished today. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Thank you guys for watching. As we learn how to use the equipment, we hope the shows will look and sound better. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our podcast on iTunes and other podcast services. See you next time. Adios. Can you please Arrivederci. zoom in on his face at the end of this episode? Why? You'll Just see. do it. <laughs> no, you'll see the faces that he was making. What, at the end of it? Yeah. Oh, it's trying to <laughs>